All right, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Epic Near Shore, Panama City. We're back out here on the bay, um, starting in East Bay. In case you can't tell, it's nearly as foggy today as it was yesterday. Not quite, but it's close. Um, yesterday, we um, only managed to catch a, a few small fish, got broke off a few times. Uh, I'm hoping that today will be a little bit better, but um, we have an east wind that's blowing pretty good, 5 to 10 I'd say, um, so hopefully it'll blow this fog out pretty quick. I'm not a fan of um, fog, but at least this morning I was able to run a little bit in it. Didn't go wide open, but at least was able to run a little bit. Um, we're pulling up onto our first spot where we're going to start anyway. And um, we're just going to go fishing today, see if we can catch anything. It's been tough for the last few, few days. Well, our temperature this morning is a little over 58 degrees, so it's um, at least getting better. I don't know what the current's doing because the, with the wind I can't tell if the current's coming in or going out. But um, I suspect it's probably still going out but that'll change here shortly but we'll see we're gonna just get set up and do some fishing I didn't go to Pier 98 this morning and get live bait but I've got um, still got all the frozen bait plus I had some shrimp and and uh, bull minnows left from yesterday I think that's where I want to be And I'll show you what I'm fishing here. So this is just a, a, a big piece of structure. I don't know if it's a boat or if it's rock or what it is. It's just a big piece of structure on the bottom. There is bait on here. I can see the bait. And hopefully there will be some fish. But um, So I'm going to get set up and we're going to see if we can catch anything or even get bit. What I've got is a small squid. I'm going to drop down on my 1060. Apparently, there's not much current because my bait dropped straight to the bottom. We'll probably just bounce around a day and see what we can catch in different spots. Uh, my plan is to go back over to St. Andrews Bay, not to the state park, but over to the bay, and um, hit some spots that, that I hadn't fished. Um, I've got marked. I'll look for new spots to never waste a day. And I've got several spots here in East Bay that, that I hadn't fished or hadn't fished much. And um, if the fog clears up pretty quick, we may fish some of them. But um, where they're at, if I'm sitting there, I'm kind of in the way of people running up and down the, the bay. If they can't see me anyway, it makes it dangerous for me. So I'm not going to sit out in the middle of the bay and, and zero visibility and just hope somebody doesn't run over me. Although I don't expect a whole lot of people to be out today, or at least right now. And we're in about 30, 31 feet of water. So not too terribly deep. Little bitty mangroves. Not a keeper. But a bite that I was able to put in the boat. It's a, it's a good day. <laughs> now since I think most of the fish that are here right now <clears throat> are smaller fish, I'll go to my smaller rod. 
to the smaller line. It's got 15 pound braid, Power Pro braid. I do have 30 pound leader on it. I got a 2 aught Demon Perfect Circle hook by Mustad, a couple of split shots. Just put a little bit of um, squid on it. Well, there is a ton of bait out here. We're going to see if we can get set up. And fish the structure where the bait is. We didn't really where I expected it to be. Definitely here. It's in the depth I expected. It's in 43, 44 feet of water. That is a little black sea bass. Little bitty one. And I like black sea bass, but that one wouldn't even fill up a hot dog bun. Black sea bass like rocky structure, so I know there's some rock down there. Probably on top of the pipe that holds the pipe. Probably part of what holds the pipe down. That's a little white trout. Or sand trout. Some people call them sand trout. They're very similar to um, speckled trout. They don't have spots on them. And they don't get real big. Um, and I only catch them on deep structure. I've never caught them in, in shallow water around grass or anything. Be bigger white trout. Still not very big. That one's probably 13, 14 inches. There's no minimum size on them. I think the limit's like 100 pounds. The thing to remember about white trout is they don't freeze well. Um, you pretty much want to eat them whatever day you catch them. Or within a day or so. I, I don't freeze them. I don't keep them anymore, but I used to keep them. But, uh, you couldn't freeze them. Red snapper. I'm fishing in 
run it 50 feet of water. And I've just got two little split shot. I think that's a one aught or a two aught. He um, must add demon perfect circle hook. A little piece of squid. It takes a little bit to get to the bottom. But it does get there. And although these fish aren't very big, what I'm hoping is that with all the activity and all the bait fish that are here, the bigger fish will come. And there's another species. Out on the beach, these are called whiting. In the bay, we call them kingfish. And that's their actual name is is kingfish even out on the beach, but people call them whiting. They're just not very white in the bay. They don't have white sand in the bay. That's a little bay whiting. Kingfish. Now he's been bit by something. And there are people that fish out on the beach for whiting because they are very good to eat. And I'll cook, I'll keep putting big baits down there in hopes that a bigger fish comes along to eat it. All right, well, we came over to St. Andrews um, Bay. Wind's a good bit stronger over here than it was over in East Bay. But um, we'll see if we can find any fish over here. If not, we'll probably go back to the pipeline or, or go to the house, one or the other. It's still foggy to the south of us. So we're not going down to the, to the um, State Park area. It was foggy down there yesterday. It was dangerous. You couldn't see anything. There's a lot of boats down there. Dropping the bait down and caught that one. Nice flat sea bass. Oh, that one's a that one's a really nice keeper. They are really good to eat. I don't need any right now. A little red snapper. Black sea bass. <clears throat> One of my favorites to eat. Pretty 
ही लोग हैं Black sea bass are in the same family as the grouper are. I don't know their family name, but I know they're in the same family. Sure, what that trash is from, but that's what's on the bottom down there that I'm fishing. It's obviously been there for a while. All right, well, I'm gonna call it a day. Go to the house, take my wife to the beach. Um, I'm glad you you um, joined me for the video. If you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, if you want to get notified, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Um, I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, we'll see you next time. I appreciate it.